Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this video, I'm going to uh, introduce you the geometric series and the derivation of the formulas that you use in the geometric series. And I think you'll be already familiar with these formulas. It's very important for you to know how to derive these formulas. So let's go straight to that. And how do you go about when you're deriving this? So the first thing I want to bring to you is, remember you're looking uh, at the sum of terms for example here I'm saying sum of n terms is equal to I think my space here will be enough so as n the first term is a plus a r plus a r squared plus can continue and then plus a r n minus 1 where am I getting it from look at this if I say T n, remember the uh, the nth term of a geometric is it's a r n minus one. So if I say T one, it's a r one minus one, which is equal to a r to the power zero. Anything to the power zero is equal to one. That's why we got a. Then if I say to you uh, T two is equal to a r, then where there is n, you say T two minus one which is a r to the power 1 which is that one t2 this is t1 then what about t3 for t3 is similarly is equal to a r 3 minus 1 which is a r squared then the last term the uh, the last part is our n minus 1 are you seeing that so i hope you appreciate where these are coming from so when you have done that the next thing that is needed in this uh, sequence is for I mean this series is for you to say let me multiply uh, this remember the common ratio is R let me multiply this by R so let me say I'll say times R here so what you are saying is if this was equation 1 so we are saying here 1 times r. So what are you going to have? If I'm multiplying 1 times r, so I'm going to have here r times sn. You see that? Is equal to. That's what I'm going to have. Because I'm multiplying by r. Is r times sn is equal to. Now, the moment I multiply a, so a times r becomes what? a r. So, but I want to match it. I'm going to match it with this one whereby I'll get a r even here I'll get a r squared right because if I say t2 times r is same as saying a r times r this is 1 1 using laws of exponents which is a r squared so it moved to t3 you see that so this continues and up to look at this now here on this one if I multiply a r n minus 1 times r remember r here is to the power 1 base is the same which is a r n minus 1 plus 1 which is a r what to the power n so here you still have your a r n minus 1 but a little bit from this let me put this a little bit from this will be plus as an extra a r to the power n because you have multiplied this by r so that's why it goes to the other side are you with me so it's more as you can see that it shifted by one there is nothing here but we have got mm, an extra one there are you with me so that's what you must remember and also just to conscientize this is what we said was being multiplied by r and the r being the common ratio when you've done that, now the next thing I want us to do is to roll off, uh, is to roll off here. And when we roll off, what we're going to do, we're going to subtract, right? So we're going to subtract what? 
this we'll call it equation 2 we're going to say equation 2 minus 1 all right so if it's equation 2 minus 1 what are we going to have here we are going to have um equation 2 minus 1 now let me say 1 minus 2 first it's fine equation 1 minus equation 2 let's take it as is it's fine to say equation 2 minus 1 but let's say equation 1 minus 2 it was going to it's going to simplify for now equation 1 it's s n minus r s n you see that then what am i gonna have you see this if you are to add these you are going to have a here remember i'm subtracting it's gonna be zero plus a r squared minus a r squared it's zero plus you'll get zeros plus even here it will give you zero then look at this because it's minus it's gonna be minus a r to the power n remember i'm subtracting so the positive here doesn't have a power it becomes minus so the last thing i'm gonna have will be equal to this a minus the a r n see that that's what i'm gonna be left with are you seeing this so from here i factorize now sn is common what is sn into sn it's one sn into that it's minus r see that right if i multiply this time this i get sn this time this i get that so that's why i'm saying you factorize is equal to even here factorize a a is common a into a it will give you what one a into a r n to give you a r to the power of n i think that that's factorization in this case so i'll get one minus that so that when i multiply it and multiply it it gives me back that okay next one what do i do remember i'm looking for sum of n terms i divide by one minus r divide by one minus r now it'll be s n is equal to a 1 minus r n over 1 minus r this is the formula that we are uh, proving in this case it is this first one the second one but now if i wanted to get the first one is the opposite remember i said in the first one it was 1 minus 2 i can choose to say 2 minus 1 now if it's 2 minus 1 then you're going to be saying that 2 remember this is equation 2 this was equation 2 it is r s n minus s n which is equal to now r s n it's the one that is positive now so which means this will be positive no longer negative so it will be a r n minus equation 1 equation 1 that's where now this a will be negative now so it minus a see that that's the only difference and then you still do the same thing s n it's r minus 1 is equal to a it's r to the power n minus 1 then divide by r minus 1 divide by r minus 1 then you're going to say s n is equal to a r n minus 1 over r minus 1 but there is a condition on these two equations i think you saw the condition r cannot be equal to 1 you need to put that condition even here that says r is not equal to 1 you know why because if you put r as 1 here you have the equation for example if r is equal to 1 it will be a and then 1 to the power n minus 1 over 1 minus 1 and at the bottom here you will have 0 the moment you have anything over 0 doesn't matter whatever it is this is undefined so you cannot have a scenario where it becomes what undefined so that is the part there but now just to show you a little bit of the appreciation of this formula here to say what comes from where let's look at this example just to understand the derivation here you say you are given this is a sequence remember i told you a sequence is like this this is a sequence now if i write it as a series so it will be what? S, N. Now it's a series. I must add them. 
Um, how many times? One, two, three. So this is T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. This is the appreciation now of this formula, how to come about it. So there are six terms here. T6 is equal to 4. This is a series now. When I'm adding, it's a series. Plus 12, plus 36, plus 108, plus 324, plus 972. See, this is a series now. That's why they call it the geometric series. The sequence is when you are having the commas in between, the semicolons, but now it's the six series is when you are having now the summation. Now, if we're adding these, then use it to prove the formula. Let's use this. Now, I want you to pay attention now. If I say to you, what is the common ratio here? Then remember, let me do it on the side here. Uh, common ratio R is equal to T2 over T1. For example, which is equal to T3 over T2. Now, what is T2? It's 12 over 4 which is equal to 36 over 12. Now, what is 12 over 4? 12 over 4 is 3. 36 over 12 over 36 is 3. So the common ratio is what? Is 3. So here, as I said, take this, uh, take 3, the common ratio, which we said in the beginning, take R, multiply by SN. So take 3, multiply by S6. You multiply by the common ratio. Now, when I multiply uh, 3 times 4, I get 12. But I don't write 12 there. I match 12 with what? With 12. Hence, we have got 12. Now, if I say 3 times 12 is 36. You see? 36 got there. 36 times 3 is 108. See how it was happening? Plus 324 plus 972 but it doesn't end there because i must say i must say 972 times 3 then it must give me that one 972 times 3 it will give me what 2916 2916 there is an extra one just like in here there is this blank it's blank look at the top it was blank here also here we had a blank you see how it's, it's like I'm just following the same thing just to appreciate for you to appreciate this formula when I've done this look at this what did we do in the previous we did rule off and we subtracted right so this I can take it off but don't forget first things we have to cut, find the common ratio here this three just to remind yourself what is this three this 3 is our R, which is T2 over T1, in case you are asking now. But where did you get 3? 3 is the common ratio. Common ratio, which we got here. Now, with that, let's continue. What do I do next? What I need to do next now is to separate. As I said, what are you separating? You put minus here. If I put minus, I will have what? S6 minus 3S6. See what I'm having? Equal to. Now, when I start subtracting, this will subtract to give zeros. All this will give zeros. You see? So it will be plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. But you'll have a 4 plus here because the 4 didn't subtract anything. There is nothing there. Right. Then at the end also, you see it's minus, so it will be minus 296, 2916, because it's a minus. So with that, I will say, take this 2, which is 4 minus 29, what? 4 minus 2916. That's what you're having now. S6 minus X, S6, let's factorize S6 outside like we did. S6 into X, S6, you get 1 into that you get 3 remember that so that's what we are doing also to say s6 there it's 1 minus 3 is equal to we come here 4 minus 2 9 1 6 we can then use our calculator there 4 minus 
2916. Let's get what? 2912. It's minus 2912. The negative is very important. Now 1 minus 3, it's S6 bracket minus 2 is negative 2912. Now you want S6 divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. You see that? What do I get? My sum of 6 terms then it will be uh, if we use again the calculator there it will be uh, negative 2912 divided by 2 what do I divide it by negative 2 so then it gives me what 1456 1456 all right so you can test it try to add it let's add this this these figures uh, just let's add them as they are with the calculator it's 4 plus remember I'm adding it was 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 108 plus 324 plus 972 equal to 1456 you see so it's showing that this formula is justified you are justifying uh, the way it is being done the next part I want to also remind you is we remember we said sn was equal to a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed plus dot 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 plus a r n minus one remember it's coming from t n is a r n minus one i'm repeating myself here now to say if i want for example this is t1 t2 t3 t4 if i want to find out how did you get t4 you say t4 is a r my n is 4 minus 1 which is a r 3 see that that's why it's a r 3 that is how generalist does so this is how you derive the geometric sequence and i'll encourage you to get the practice of it because they'll definitely in a way one or the other ask you either in your test ask you in your in your it can be your homework you can use this one now in the next lesson we are going to now look at a few examples on how you can approach this the geometric sequence here how you can use this formula it's very important look at the questions they are very very direct to what you usually asked in your tests even in your exams we've come to the end of our lesson thank you